Hey guys, welcome to episode number five of my talk series. So this is a little different. My setup is not the same as usual. I am not downstairs in my basement here, my office area. I kind of just felt like I needed a change today, as odd as that sounds. I wanted more natural light during my work day. So I brought my laptop upstairs and I didn't bring my dual monitor upstairs. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. Also, yes, that's my banana peel and peanut butter. So for today's topic, I will be talking about doing absolutely nothing. I think this is so important and it kind of aligns with the stuff that I've, or the topics I should say, that I've been talking about on my talk series. I've talked about burnout, I've talked about how crying is good for you, I've talked about meditating. I'm gonna now talk about why having a do nothing day out of your week is good for you. I've done research on it, but this is a little bit of a spontaneous talk that I just really felt like I needed to have with you guys. So I didn't dive in too much into research. I did find a couple of articles, I will link them below, that kind of support my discussion today in regards to doing nothing. Now, we live in a society where time is money. Being productive is everything in a corporation, like in your daily lifestyle, in just everyday life things. You need to be productive. You need things that you have to get done. Like there's just a bunch of lists that you have to get done. There's a bunch of errands you have to run. And if you didn't do something or you didn't accomplish something you set out for the day and you were unproductive, you feel like shit. This mentality is not okay. I know this because throughout my entire undergrad, I was the person who used to make to-do lists who used to have 20 things I needed to scratch off by the end of the day and only then did I ever feel like I could reward myself for like 20 minutes of watching Netflix and then again I felt like I needed to be doing something. It's almost a disease of the mind. And today, if you're watching this video and you come across it, maybe it's the universe's sign to tell you to chill out maybe just a little bit. Although it is very important in the world that we live in to get your tasks done, to be part of society, to be an active human being, there is a limit to how much you need to push yourself. So that is why I'm going to be talking about do nothing days. This is a day where you kind of have off work, you kind of have to yourself, and a lot of people think that those days are for cleaning, for grocery shopping, for laundry, all that stuff. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a fully do nothing day. And you don't have to force yourself to do absolutely nothing, but it's kind of just filled with doing things that you want to do or just chilling. And I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but have you ever just sat down and just done nothing and like thought about nothing and then all of a sudden felt the need to get up and go do something or boredom? That my friends is a sign that you don't know how to be alone and you don't know how to just be with yourself and be at. That's not your fault, it's not wrong, but I feel like it's a very vital and important part in self-growth to just be okay with being with yourself and having those days where you absolutely do nothing. Because who knows, maybe in those days you discover something really cool about yourself. I know that personally, I had a couple of do-nothing days. I just kind of got thrown into it, it was not planned. I just genuinely had nothing to do because at work it wasn't too busy and I just had nothing to do and also COVID, like being home alone. So I kind of got thrown into a do nothing day and I noticed that it was very therapeutic. I started painting and I have a little vlog where I talk about painting and I actually record myself doing a painting. I'm not an artiste. But um, I don't know, it's just I figured out and I found out that I am totally okay with being alone, vibing with my music, and painting. And for those of you who've been following along with my Talk Tuesdays, you guys know, because I've talked about this a lot, that I'm a very hyperactive person that constantly needs to be doing something to feel like I'm okay in life. I'm trying to reverse that a little bit. I'm trying to be okay with just being. And why is my battery about to die? This always, always, always happens. To Before my battery dies, I kind of want to also talk about different ways in which we all can kind of work towards being okay with the do nothing day. Number one, journaling. On your do nothing days, make sure you journal how you're feeling. The first few days, you're gonna feel probably a little bit like, oh my god, I'm bored, I need to talk to someone, I need to be doing something. Sit with those thoughts and just write down how you're feeling because those thoughts are very important and they're gonna pop up because realistically, there's probably never a day where you've done nothing for years. Seriously, there probably isn't. And I think that's really important for you to try it out. So number one, get a journal. 
Number two, I would say starting to meditate. It's as easy as throwing on a five minute meditation YouTube video or 10 minute meditation YouTube video in the morning to start off your day because I promise you it will set a good pace for the rest of your day. Even if you feel like you don't know what the hell you're doing, trust me, with consistency and you doing it over and over again, it will definitely set a good pace for your day. Number three, go for a walk that day. If you're a person who doesn't really go for walks, not really into nature or just being outside really, try it out and do it without any music. Just try to walk and just listen to nature and hear what nature has to say. There's a lot of time that you're gonna spend with just yourself and getting to know yourself. And it's funny because we live in a world where we're always trying to build relationships with other people because we are a social species, but we don't necessarily actually ever take the time to get to know ourselves, which is sad but also the truth. I feel like trying those three things are very, very important in having a do-nothing day. Doing nothing also calms your nerves, helps your central system reset, and makes your skin better <laughs> because you're not stressed, so it doesn't release these stress hormones. There's a lot of good things that can come out of doing nothing, and it also allows you to slow down your mind and not be thinking about this, that. The meditation will help also with that. When you're able to slow down your mind, you can actually kind of tap into your subconscious sometimes and you start to observe your surroundings a little bit better and just understand things in a different way. Personally, I feel like this journey on this earth should be like that. We should be trying to learn new things but also love new things and be okay with it. Be okay with yourself and just kind of get to know yourself because after all, the only person you spend the most time with is yourself. So I think it's very important to have these do-nothing days and I really hope whoever's watching this video kind to get something out of this at least kind of gets awareness maybe instead now you will take the time to just kind of relax and sit near a window and just like look outside and observe Bleh, observe <laughs> observe your surroundings and just be at peace and sometimes what tends to happen at least it's happened with me is like I get to a point where I have no thoughts anymore thoughts just constantly keep coming and it's always a struggle to like get them to stop but like eventually you reach a point where like you don't have thoughts and you're just like enjoying everything wholesomely and it's a feeling that I feel like everyone should have. Again, it's only accomplished by peace and do nothing days are very, very, very important. Once again, I, I know I haven't talked about a specific study that has proved this. However, there's a lot of studies that are out there and I will try to link some of them down below. But yeah, today was just kind of a spontaneous looking day. I mean, today I came to my room. I'm not filming where I usually am. Today was completely spontaneous. If you have any thoughts on this or would want me to talk about any other topics for next week and do research for you so that you don't have to do the research comment below and also please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video check out my other videos I have talk Tuesday videos and I also have vlogs that I record on a weekly basis and I'm trying to be more consistent with that so give that a check out and thank you so much for watching like comment share and subscribe I would love to know your thoughts on this and also follow me on TikTok. I have a Gratefuls account, which is called Wellness Check. And I basically post a TikTok every single day, reminding you of all the things that you should be grateful for. Because it's shocking how often we're not grateful for things that we should be very grateful for. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on next Talk Tuesday. Adios, amigos.